Uh, did an estuary wind farm spun into action last Thursday in the hope that it will eventually create enough electricity to power 300,000 homes? Yes, but how do you build an offshore wind farm in the first place? Well, Marty has got the answer. On a blustery day, over 6 million homes in the UK are powered by wind turbines. Over a thousand of these giants lie offshore, scattered along the British coast. But erecting them in the windiest places is extremely challenging. Their story starts here at the proud shipping hub of Belfast. Being next to the tower of a wind turbine gives you a sense of how truly massive they are. When these things are completed, they're 140 metres high. That's taller than Big Ben. They're 120 metres across. Each blade is longer than a jumbo jet from wingtip to wingtip. Now, putting one of these up on land must be a truly enormous engineering challenge. What must it be like at sea? These turbines are at the beginning of a 12-hour journey. They're loaded aboard a special ship called the Sea Installer. In a single trip, it can carry everything that you need to build eight turbines at sea. Fully laden, it weighs 20,000 tonnes. Ready to go to the coast of Cumbria, to a vast new field of turbines created by Scottish Power and the Danish company Dong Energy. The fierce winds here make this a great spot for a turbine field. But these conditions also make life extremely tricky for project manager Charlie Jordan. There are significant challenges in installing wind turbines offshore. The, the weather introduces the main challenges. We've got to deal with extreme wave and wind conditions. We want to install our wind turbines at the most windy locations. However, to install in the windy conditions present a number of challenges. If the boat is going to successfully assemble these enormous turbines, it must somehow overcome the elements. Because all the parts of the turbine are carefully arranged on the deck of the ship, it remains stable when it's at sea. But when you get it out to where the foundations were laid, you have to start erecting it all. Stick the blades on like that. And then to get it onto the foundations, you have to use a crane to lever it out over the side of the ship, at which point it becomes dangerously unstable. The sea installer has arrived off the coast of Cumbria. Only now does the ship reveal its special trick. These four enormous pillars on deck are actually its legs, and it uses them to push itself out of the sea. They enable this 20,000 tonne ship to transform itself from an ocean-going vessel into a stable platform for assembling giant turbines. The legs are lowered up to 20 metres down to the seabed. Once they reach solid ground, a simple hydraulic system slowly raises the entire ship out of the water. It's taken six hours to lift the ship up into the air and it's now sitting almost 20 metres above the sea. It's turned it into a rock-steady platform. Even with their transforming ship, the crew still has a difficult job to do. It's a precision task on a giant scale. First, the huge turbine tower has to be delicately manoeuvred onto its foundations. Next, the rotor. This contains the technology that generates electricity from the wind's energy. And finally, the huge blades are carefully moved into position. The ship has installed this massive turbine in a little under 12 hours. But its shift isn't over yet. It's now going to lower itself back into the water, reposition itself, and start all over again with another one.